And one more thing I wanted to clarify with you was the con um, about the concept of freedom. I think when you say freedom, you refer to it differently than mm. the commonly talked about freedom because um, you have you you have clearly mentioned about that there is no free will, and that is interpreted as freedom for a lot of oh. people where mm -hmm. um, having freedom to do things. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. So what is it that okay. you refer to as? Freedom? So I I can't tell you. Because the sort of when, when the illusion that there is someone or there is anything that's separate falls away, um, first of all, I have to say it's, it's then recognised by no one that there never was an, an individual who was in that dream. That's the first thing. And the other thing is um, indescribable. Uh, suddenly, it is absolutely obvious that everything is freedom. Everything is freedom because it has it isn't going anywhere. The carpets, the sky, other apparent people are simply what is already complete. They don't have anywhere to go to and there's no meaning or purpose to anything, so they're not trying to follow a path to somewhere else called a better place. That, that's the nearest I can get to describing a freedom which can't be known and certainly can't be taught and can't be described. The freedom I'm talking about is beyond description. The idea is something to do with the letting go of free will or anything like that. It's so, um, it's such, such a tiny idea. It has nothing to do with the absolute freedom of what is.